Hello, my book friends. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly. This is Let's Read Into It. It is time for our June TBR, which is just insane to think that we are like halfway through the year now. I can't believe it. So <laughs> I can't. But I have picked a few books. I don't know if I'm going to get through everything. I, for my May TBR, I think I only have like two one or two books that I didn't get from my TBR, which isn't bad. My reading slump is has left the building, which is great. My problem is June's going to be very, very busy. I'm going out of town I'm to deal with some family stuff, so I don't know how much I'm going to read while I'm gone. Normally, if I'm like going, I would be reading and stuff, but a lot of things are happening, so I'm not sure how much I'm going to be reading. So I didn't want to do like a huge TBR. Not that I do a lot to begin with. I think the normal amount I do is like six, like five or six or something. And I think I picked four and they're not that big. So I wanted something that is just, I can be accomplished, but also... I don't feel the pressure of, of getting to it normally. TBR doesn't bother me too much, but with a reading slump, it really bothered me that I didn't like hit anything. So May, I, I really got a lot into it. But June, we were full on to summer. I wanted summer reads. I wanted to just feel, I wanna feel water through these books, okay? Like I don't understand. I'm originally from Florida. I love the beach. I love just everything water related. And so being up in the Pacific Northwest where you like, yeah, you can go to the water, but it's cold as shit. Like it's so cold. So it's, it's always hard to read about, you know, people who just live by the beach again. And I'm, I'm sad about it. We just have like lakes and then we have the sound and it's freezing. So, I mean, we can go to the beach, but again, it's not, it's not as fun as if we went to Florida or North Carolina or anything like that. So before we get started, if you are not already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button as well as the bell to notify you when I upload. I upload every week just rambling about different stuff. So let's go ahead and ramble about this June TBR. Okay, like I said, I only picked four and they are not that big. They're not that big. And if you haven't already seen it, um, I had a summer book rec video go out and these are a part of it and I'm very excited about these. So let's go ahead and talk about them. First one is Shipped by Angie Hawkman. This, I like, it just seems very summery. They have to go on a cruise, they're up for the same promotion and they have to basically create a marketing plan about this cruise to the Galapagos Islands and what happens? They're gonna fall in love. You got little like enemies to lovers type thing. And I get the vibe almost like um, what, the hating game. That's the vibe I'm kind of getting, but I'm excited. I've not read anything by this author and I saw it in Barnes and Noble and it just looked very summery and I wanted to check it out. So I picked it up. So I'm very excited about reading this. And then I also have When in Rome by Sarah Adams. This is another author I've not read before, but I've heard good things. I've been seeing this all over BookTok, BookTube, Bookstagram, all of that. So I wanted to pick this up. I actually, I actually picked up Practice Makes Perfect by Sarah Adams, which is also on the TBR. This is the second book in like the universe. So she is related to him, I believe. So I have to read this one before I read this one. They're not that big. Um, I believe you have like a baker in a pop star and she's like hiding out. And then you have the pop star's bodyguard and the baker's sister who is a florist. And this one, I believe it's fake dating because she asked for him for advice. And this, I'm not too sure. Hmm. We definitely get like rural or like small town vibes. That's what I'm getting from it. I don't know. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right. I didn't read too much on the blurbs. Just this one I did. And then I figured I got to pick this one up. So I'm excited about reading these two. Very summery. I mean, look at the covers. They are pure summer. So I'm excited about reading any his tattoos. I'm a sucker for tattoos. My fiance has a full sleeve and everything like that. I have tattoos. If the main character has tattoos, I already love you. So, so I'm excited about reading these two and seeing if I like this author because if I do, I normally just fixate and I'll buy everything. But I think, I don't know if those are her only, no, she's the cheat sheet and I have heard good things about that. I have not picked that up, but um, if I like them, I will pick it up. So 
And then I had to put a mystery in there, and I definitely have talked about this author because she's one of my absolute favorites. This is her new book, Megan Miranda, The Only Survivors. This is pure summer. Look at those summer vibes. Um, I did not read the blur because I don't need to. I know it's going to be good. Like, I, I don't know. Um, the top part, it just says seven hours in the past, seven days in the present, seven survivors remaining. Who would you save? Like, that sounds fucking good. Like, I'm excited. Because when I read All the Missing Girls, which is one of my favorites from her, um, the way it was told, it was told, like, you get the, like, day 14, and then you start telling it backwards. And it was fantastic. And so I'm wondering if that's going to be the same thing. I shouldn't look. I'll look and I'll just start it right now. So I'm very excited about this one. I love her, but it also means that I won't have any more to read of hers because I am, I will officially be all caught up on all of her books. I don't know how I feel about that. I'll probably go into a little bit of a book hangover or author hangover because I'm like, what do I do with you now? Like, when's your next book coming? Like, please. I don't, I'm, I don't know how I'm going to do. But like I said, not that many because I don't know how much I'm going to read. Ooh drop everything I don't know how much I'm gonna read um this month it's I I don't know and this is why I can't like I don't know how some people can be like I want to read 10 this month because I just I don't know because who knows things happen <laughs> my life right now is very very hectic and yeah I don't want to I don't want to have like oh I want to read 15 I have no idea even though I my books read this so far as of today I've read 79 I think it may be 80 I'm not sure which is a lot it's a lot going into the mid-year and if I it's, I don't know that's who knows but I'm excited I'm excited for this June TBR if you guys have read any of these if you've read the cheat sheet by Sarah Adams let me know how you liked it um, as well as if you've already read any of the others let me know down in the comments. You know, I love interacting with you guys when you guys comment, talking about things. So by all means, let's start a combo. But you can also follow me over on Bookstagram. If you ever have any ideas or if you want any book recs, hit me up. I'm all about it. I will talk about books all day. I will talk with strangers about books in the bookstore. Like Stranger Danger, who is she? I will talk about it all day. Like I will be in a section and I'll hear be like, I'm not sure if it's good. I'll look over to see what it is. And if I've read it, I'm like, check it out. Like I will tell you. <laughs> so if you're ever around me and you have no idea, I got you. I got you. Because we're all friends here, okay? We're all friends. But I'm excited about the June TBR. I'm excited to see what you guys are reading this June. And I'm excited about just getting this summer book reading started. That's all I have until the next video. Bye.